I need Harry's. I'm not working. I'm looking for silver earrings that I threw in here. I'm looking for earrings. I, I need earrings. So we're having rehearsal, or she's putting out her purse. Oh, there's a cookie. That's a new cookie. I just bought that. You can eat that. Oh, look, I found your medicine. That's a good and plenty. Oh, look, I found your fingernail. Here's her fingernail. Oh, wait, here's another one. Wait, one. there might be things in there that children shouldn't see. Is there anything we can do to maybe help speed it up? Because I know time is limited. Well, you, I like your earrings. What kind of, what are they? Are they charcoal? It's not important for you to have earrings for Pyramid. You are not going to a lunch date. This is Pyramid. Gosh, it's like we're wasting so much time here. As much as Abby wants to be in LA, LA does not bring out the best in Abby. It just brings out the crazy. Dawn's daughter was called into my class for a routine that she was picked special for. And she had socks and a t-shirt on. I don't care if you're taping, I'm born in the killer. They were to wear tights and a leotard. I made two other children change their clothes. Because it's acro, we're doing a lot on our knees, and they have to be in their bare feet. May I speak to you a minute? No, I'm I want to speak to you. You don't throw my kid out of class. I paid for class. She's not dressed appropriately. I'm looking at every single kid out here, Abby. They all look like children. Isn't that crazy that children look like children? She's dressed appropriately. You're the minister. Yes, I am a minister. Let's play the Bible game, Abby. When Jesus saw things that were wrong, he went after it. And I'll tell you what, you're not gonna do this to my kid! Out of the room. Out. Out. Reagan, goodbye. Out. Out. You're not throwing her out. Oh, yes, I am. And you with her. Go. No, you're not. Yes. Every week we put the trash out. Go. Then take yourself out because you're the biggest piece of trash there is. You cannot take acrobatic class in socks. I told you to close the tuck in your two-piece costume. There's a big difference. How can you remember that and you can't remember to turn your feet out? Huh? That's pathetic. Go somewhere else. Take your money. Take your kid. Take your socks. Find another school. Does it not hit in your head that maybe you're wrong? No. Do you not get it? I don't get it. I know I'm right. I'm... Why are you right? It's my building. Why my name's on the front. So what? You keep telling her how stupid she is. She's you not stupid. She just so can't read. The, you know, the, the apple kid. doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> so you're saying I'm stupid? Well, Are we you? don't. Oh, I got more education than you will ever have. Than you will ever have. Because I went to school. Unfortunately, you didn't. Yeah, your phone. Call the police. Go for it. I'm sorry, Go girls. for it. There's a psycho in every batch. A psycho? Yes. Her name's Abigail Miller. Hi. Uh, I need a uh, police at... 7123 Salzburg. You okay, John? No, no. You okay? No, I'm not. I don't know if she went outside. I walked into a room. My senior company has warmed me up in another room, and I went into there. Bye, Reagan. Bye. Let's go, guys. Let's get in the other room. Thank you. Sorry you had to see that. I just want you to leave the property, sir. Yeah, I'm loving All right, you gotta go. Okay. Take your daughter somewhere else, then, if you don't like the dance company here. A little shaky to get myself together, get back into rehearsal, and worry about the competition this weekend. That is the ugliest board. 
Why would you bring the board and have it be a distraction to the kids again in the dressing room? When will you ever learn? Leave the dancing and the teaching up to me, and I'll leave the bitching and complaining up to you guys. These ticks aren't about corrections. It's not about corrections. It's about my teaching style. It's, no, it's no, about but, no, no, humiliating them. Like it's you said, not the point that. of improvement. No, but yes. that's not right. When you looked at Ke Maddie and said, "Oh, your posture's getting bad because you're hanging out with Kendall like her like over it's there." Kendall's fault that Maddie's posture was bad. But wouldn't you that make Kendall. Kendall go like this? No, it's not. She just laid there looked at me. It has nothing to do with your posture. Do, do you see why right. I didn't bring that up? Yeah. That's what those ticks represent. How many times you said things that we found disrespectful or humiliating to the kids. And I had this wonderful plan for Nia next week. She was going to do a Maya Angelou piece. And now it's like, you know what, Holly? If that's your retaliation, you know, Abby. Don't those big flat feet somewhere else. I could care less. What kind of 40-something-year-old woman has to me, retaliate me, against me? You me, act like a baby. Me, all me, that is a baby me. right there. You want me to make your child better, but yet you want to hold me accountable for my teaching methods. When they crossed the Nobody would know Nia's name if it wasn't for me. You think people would grab their program and say, ooh, Nia Frazier's on next? Woohoo! You know what's so sad about this is that you're a grown woman taking out on a little kid. I'm not taking anything out on a little kid. And Nia is 12. She can have kids. She can get married in some countries. I'm having this conversation, and you're ugly. What you say is absolutely ugly. That's and the you're truth. you're a nasty woman. Get real. Your kid's growing up. You've crossed the line. Abby is so totally out of line. I will not sit here and pretend that I support that woman. I'm going to get up and I'm going to walk down the hall because that's the woman I support. We stand behind you 110%. Uh -huh. I don't know uh -huh. why she would have said that. She'd just go. It, but but it's, it's that and it's everything. No, I, no. That's how she is. I'm not talking about anything no, else. No. cameras out of my face. Abby can't have a conversation. She can't do it. She gets all ugly. She can't handle the truth. She diverts the conversation. It's ridiculous. I feel really badly for Holly. I, I could hardly sit there and listen to that, because I feel her pain. But it's everything that built up to It's not just that. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I think we have to go. I think we have to go get the girls, and then go back into the room to get them ready for group dance. We're sorry it got to that. We are sorry. I mean, I can hardly we stand there and watch that. It's you know what? Vile. Yeah, it's fine. What she did was vile. Good for you. And you know what? She can't fight you, Holly. So what does she do? Yeah, she gets below the belt. The girls have to get ready for the group dance. I am not going to stoop to Abby's level and get sidetracked. I'm nervous for these kids. They're taking the stage. Things aren't right with Abby. They're going up against the candy apples. I just have to hope that their head's in the game and they focus on their dancing, nothing else. Ladies and gentlemen, the group number playing with matches has been withdrawn. I repeat, the group number playing with matches that yours? has been withdrawn and will not dance. Uh, what happened? That's yours. What? Girls, girls, come here. The reason the group dance was pulled has nothing to do with you. It's how your mothers treated Abby in that dressing room. I don't know what it was, and you guys don't know what it was, but that was the reason, OK? Because your mother's behavior. You know how it is when one gets punished, everybody gets punished, and I have to put my foot down. Okay? All right. Go back. After the mom's little scene in the dressing room, I decided to pull the number. The kids worked hard, but they're not going to get a prize. They're not going to get the glory because their mothers took that away from them. Abby, why did you pull the number? See what I mean? You get the back of the head. You get the back of the head. Hey, um, where are the moms? They're not here? I should be in there doing the pyramid. I don't know where everybody is. The moms are still missing. It's getting late. Nobody's heard a word from them. We just wasted an entire day when we could have been rehearsing for the competition. There's people standing in the parking lot. Is that someone sitting on the ground like a dog? Melissa. Really? I am tired of this. The moms are outside in my parking lot. I've had it. I'm going to go out there and find out what's going on. Ladies, what's going on? I'm waiting to do the pyramid. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Ladies, what's going on? 
Polly, something has to be going on, or you would never be so rude to me personally. You guys are having a, what is it called, a sit-in? Ladies, are we this upset over one new student? Are you that jealous? If you're doing this for Kelly, you're a fool. This is completely unprofessional. Do you think that your kid's gonna go on and work professionally after this behavior? That's ridiculous. Melissa, I tried to tell you, your kid's working her butt off, doing a solo every week, and the other kids are broken, laying on the floor whining. When Abby comes out, it's like the scene from Jurassic Park. We're all sitting in our cars, and like, here comes the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Holly's not moving, but I'm thinking, thank God, Holly, because they can sense movement. You're replaced, that's it, finished, done. See what happens to people? You do all this crap with their kid, you get them to win a national championship, and then they all over you. They start when they're three years old, they don't know their right foot from their left, their kid becomes a star, they're winning titles, and the parents suddenly think they know something more. Let's go, let's get on the phone. We have to replace all these kids. We have one great soloist, right? All right. Thank you. Allegheny County, 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I have a trespassing issue. Your name? Abby Miller. There's just four cars of people in my parking lot that will not move. I just want the police to tell them they need to move their cars. They need to be off my lot. All right. Bye-bye. I have tons of kids dying to be on this competition team. So I want to go back to the files from the competition and call people that can get in their cars right now and drive to Pittsburgh and be here for rehearsal tomorrow. Times, they are a changing. Yes, hi. This is Abby Lee Miller. Is there a Kaylee there that attended an open call audition for me? Yeah. Yes. I need you to find a way to get her here tomorrow. I understand that you have a very talented little girl. I've been hearing from everybody that she is 10 times better than Maddie. How can we get you on a plane tomorrow? Come to Pittsburgh to the Abby Lee Dance Company and compete with my team. The end of that. <laughs> Bella's in. She's there, and she'll be there with her at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And he's pulling behind us. I don't even know what we're doing, but we're the Abby Lee Dance Company. We're national champions, and we'll come up with something. The show must go on. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, we're smart. We got a way better group than we started with. <laughs> Hello? Abby, this is you, Val. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. I hear you're going to be competing in Indiana this weekend. I am. I would love to see you. Are you going to be around? Yes, we're going to be there. Oh, God. It should be exciting. Is, uh... Kelly. Is she competing? She's actually competing as solo. And we're bringing a group member as well. All right, super. Well, then we're going to see you there. You're going to see me. Absolutely. OK, super. My name is Yvette. My daughter and I were on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. It was an amazing experience. But along with that came many ups and downs. Kathy, are you excited for the season? I guess, kind of. I've been really worried about you since Abby's ultimate dance competition. I've been worried about the things that Abby said to you, made you question if you want to continue to dance or not. I feel when Abby found out that I was a dance teacher myself, I think things turned. I think Abby tried to get to me through Hadley. She tried to break you. Shame on her. It's just different going to dance every day. Because I still have those words in my head. Which words keep popping into your head when you go in the dance room? Abby, I'm reading your facial expression, and you don't seem that happy. Should I say roadkill? You're not roadkill. Just hearing her say that, I've never had someone say that to me before. Like, call me that. Don't let roadkill come back into play at all. I say all the time, you get what you give. Abby Lee Miller will get it back someday. All right, moms, this is it. We're crunch time here. I was just informed that one of the kids I judged over the break is coming to the competition. And the mother called me. Her name is Javette. 
Ah. Her daughter's name is Hadley. Oh, uh, okay. I'm warning you. She does not like me because I told her that her daughter looked like roadkill. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and they have a group against our group. Hadley is doing a solo in 9 to 11. So I called your daughter roadkill. Get over it, lady. Let it go. This competition is huge. We're going to walk into that theater, and people are going to expect to see Brooke and Chloe, Nia, Maddie, and they're going to see Allie, Bella, Kaylee, Sophia. This can make you or break you. You step out on that stage, and you guys win the overall high score. Suddenly, it could be household names. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've got huge expectations for the competition this weekend. And if these new girls don't meet them, I'll make a few more phone calls. Do you know any of these kids? Because those are none of her kids. I mean, I knew she had auditions two weeks ago. Right. How are you? Good. No hug, no kiss. How nice are to you? see you again. Good to see you, sweetie. You been working on those feet? Yeah. Good, good, good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Take care. You have a new team? Yeah, you know, every once in a while you have to put the trash out. <laughs> Junior Solo Division, here is Hadley with more. I get so nervous before I go on stage. I always have to shake out my nerves. I'm a little bit of a head case sometimes. This is entry number 27, Sophia. Sophia came out on that stage like a tornado, and she ripped through that audience like there was no tomorrow. She truly dances like it's the last time she's ever going to dance. In second place, with a total of 276.3 points. There's no question in my mind we're going to beat Abby. Entry number 10, more. Place in your junior solo division, number 27, New yeah. Reality. Kathy yeah. wasn't exactly roadkill. She was just the road. And Sophia drove right over her. Jealousy and success go hand in hand. Maddie needs to get used to it because she's going to be successful. I need the girls to come in. I need everybody to come in, but I need you to get your crowns and get them on that table. I even had to bring her crowns in because I want her to realize that this is something to be proud of. It's a huge accomplishment, and Star Power is proud of her. She is a little star right now. She's the winner. Own it. Be proud. Rub it in their faces if you have to. This is a piece of metal and two combs and some rhinestones. 
This does not make you a winner. What was she saying? How many crowns have you won? Oh. Right, this let, is the let, best. Let me bring these and rub them in your face. Exactly. These are recent. This is Petite Mustiettes. That was a toughie. But once again, you can't win a crown if you're never sent to go. Starbound. Ooh, that's pretty. Energy. And Maddie still wins just because she has better choreography, and Abby makes sure of that. Every week, she makes sure that Maddie has the best choreography out of this group. And you can sit here and get mad at me, but you know it's true. There's no question. DEA. Oh, running out of room. I didn't want to show all the crowns to the girls, but I followed the rules and I did it. But then the moms kind of got mad, and I didn't like that at all. But Melissa, why would you bring them? She told me to. Well, and they when called she me she bring them, say, no, my daughter's uncomfortable she is doing uncomfortable. this in front of her friend. Your kid is uncomfortable. But you're getting them out now, Melissa. They already did it. I'm not getting them out. Are you going to tattle on us? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go tattle on you. I, I wouldn't be surprised. You need to get these set up so that you put a sticker on the back of these. Girls, I just want to tell you, I don't want you to think that Maddie's doing this to make you feel bad. Ad Maddie was instructed to do this, and I see your faces, and I feel really bad. I'm sick of hearing it. And you are taking her successes, and you're squashing them down. She has a right to jump up and scream and yell and be excited. It's ridiculous. If you want a crown, work for it. What happened, Melissa? What did she say to you? We, she never gets excited. I'm, you know, we squash every victory because, you know, we don't want people to hate her and this, people to hate me. We tell Abby, kiss my ass. I'm not bringing them in. It's rude. We deal with it every week. We realize that our it kids is. aren't stupid. They realize it. All right, are we ready? We're going to run it with everybody together. And on top of the pyramid this week, Oh, my God. That's funny. Well, it's the only time she's ever going to get anywhere. <laughs> Christy doesn't find it funny. Come on, we have work to do. World-class talent. We loved it so much, we're going back again. This time, we're going to Canton, Ohio. Uh we are going to the apple orchard. <laughs> We've won 11 times in a row, and we're going for number 12. I am so confident in my junior elite competition team that I'm going to go head to head with Kathy in her own hometown. We have a group routine. Right now, everybody is in it. The routine we are doing is frost. And each and every one of you took a costume from another competition that we did, and you took them home with you and they're white, and they're beautiful, and you are in trouble if you don't bring them tomorrow to rehearsal. When I hear a piece of music, I envision the choreography and immediately think about the costume. I have the most lavish white costumes. They even have marabou fur on them. I mean, they are perfect. What about the ones that don't have that costume? Oh, wait a minute. Christy, Kelly, has two sets of the costume. Call her attorney. I'm not getting it. No, you need to go get it from her. She's you... your buddy. Christy, come on, she's your friend. Wait, seriously, Abby? You want me to call Kelly, who you're out insulting at every turn, and ask her for costumes back? Oh, let me get right on that. Sure. This week, we're doing a routine called Frost. You think it's sweet and beautiful and this stunning lyrical piece, but underlying, there's this nuance of something frightening, something eerie. And that's what I love about the music. You gotta push for that. There should be three beautiful turns there. The Abby Lee Dance Company has won 11 competitions in a row. Kathy, don't even think about ruining this winning streak. So we need something to happen that's like, like, oh, they did that, that was good. Oh, they did that, that was good. Oh, they did that, that was better. Oh, my God. Look, now they just did that. We can't beat them. Right now, we have seven dancers on the floor. I'm telling you, not everybody's doing this number because we don't have enough costumes. So who's going to get the costumes? Like, I've texted and left messages for Kelly, and she's never responded. They don't get costumes. That means two girls are cut from this number. I'm surprised, because she will never put those on her kids' bodies. It's not really about the costume. The costume is just a symbol of a larger issue. You're not getting the costume back, not without a fight. Even though Nia has a costume with her name on it, 
it's clear, just knowing Abby, if there's someone who's a disposable member on this team who may not make the cut, it might be Mia. So you take this music, you go home, and you know it. You can move the furniture out of the way in the living room, and you do it over and over and over until it's perfection. Understood? Because I want a 12. Up on my shelf. All right, see you later. Hi. We're here. Hi. Here you with the wizard. <laughs> I'm trying to get the costume because you know me, I'm always worried, you know. Peyton's oh, green know. costume is, know. it's a nervous, it's stressful on her. She wants to know. You work her up about it. What is plan B? You know what? I don't have time to do all that crap. Kelly knows she's in the wrong. She can't produce a receipt for those. Point blank, that's it. She has the costumes, you give them back. I know why, but. Oh, let me see that. Hello. I forget what it looks like. Oh, How is thank it? Those are the you. head pieces. I already can feel that Peyton is going to be the one that is left out of this dance. So I'm going to take it upon myself, and I'm going to get these costumes back, or at least everything I can to get these costumes back. Hi, Kelly. It's Leslie again. It's the third attempt that we've been trying to get a hold of you. We really need those costumes. Abby says they're hers, and they belong to her, and we need them. And you know what? If we don't get them, Peyton might not be able to participate in this group. The costume plays a huge role in what I think about the routine. And if I don't have them, then it's like right back to square one, starting all over. Why should we even do this dance if we're not going to have the right costume on? These are beautiful. This is the only option we have. No, it's not the only option we have. It's what I want. I think we can make that one costume kind of look like this. Melissa, you don't even sew. You have zero talent. I know, I know. I know. Right. I'm just saying, I'm All honored. I'm saying is Kelly was vital to the team. She was the team player. But Abby, oh, we girls. are oh, oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. And where's her costumes? You don't do that to your team members. Hey, I want you to call Kelly again. Call her right now. Yeah, and guess what? You'll be getting a call from my attorney. Dad will know his name. You don't need to know my attorney's name. Oh. You want to talk like that in front of your kid? That's your business. But you don't talk like that in front of everyone else's no. kid. That's what you and your husband do in your house. That's not what happens here. You don't know what goes on in my house because you're not invited over because we don't let trash through the door. This is completely getting out of hand. Keep talking, I... Christy. Keep it up. OK, yeah, so you can turn it around and cry. It's a pity party for I you. So. Peyton, stop. Kendall, was that a plie? Was that really a grand plie? Do it again. Start over. You can all thank Christy for my mood. She stood at my front desk and yelled the F word 17 times. That's sickening. Oh, Jill, I'm sorry. Chloe, it has nothing to do with you. You are a wonderful little girl, and everybody likes you. I feel rotten that I have to send Chloe in there on the heels of this big argument that I had with Abby. We're going up against Kathy and her candy apples, and Kathy brings out the worst in Abby. Abby should walk in there and leave everything that happened outside of the classroom Absolutely. outside. Absolutely. Kira, you don't seem to be concerned. We all know that's how Abby is, and that's what she's going to do. So well, it's... Now, the old saying around here, it's because you're still in your honeymoon with her. Just give it time. I think Leslie will fight with anyone that gives her the opportunity to argue or fight with. And maybe that's because she doesn't have confidence in her daughter's dancing. Listen up. I don't come into your house and scream at you or your parents like that. You made a choice to come here. Nobody is going to talk to me that way. No one. Next person, your parents said the F word, you are out. You Let me have that. let us get a word in edgewise. Leslie. Oh, dear God, please tell me Christy's not coming today. Uh, yeah. I see her in the parking lot. Uh, she's here. There uh -huh. she is. Chloe, good morning. How's it going? The tension between Christy and Abby is still sky high. When Abby's not happy, nobody's happy. There's your group. Okay, that's it. We have three costumes out of four. That's what should dance. And you guys know that's what you dance. It is my professional recommendation that these three do it as a trio. That's what should happen.
Abby's having a little temper tantrum that we can't get the costumes back from Kelly, so now we're gonna turn it into a trio? Really? But we have four costumes. I don't know where the three's coming up. But Abby's making this a group number and two are trios because she's afraid of Kathy. She has no faith in this team. She's a coward. There is no way I'm going to let this group dance go to a trio without a fight. We're still short several costumes for this group number. So plan B, we bring in previous costumes that we can share and sort amongst each other and figure out costumes for our girls. We want the group to dance together as a group, and all we've heard is that the costumes is the main issue, so that's why we came up with a plan B. Okay, let me see what dishwater gray crap you have there. Well, yeah, these are, because they've been worn. I can put in a wool light, though. But no. none of this would fit Peyton. No. But, Abby, you asked her to travel with this team this week. Do you, you want me to unask her? I can make that happen. together or, or not invited Kalani. Understand. Not invited Kalani? She's a permanent member. You're a guest. No, I'm not a guest. Yes. Get that through your head. I'm not a guest. My daughter belongs to the studio. And not this And team. she should be in Kalani's spot. You don't even need to be here. You can go back upstairs. Go ahead. Peyton is cut from the group dance. I'm dismissing you. You see, I get kicked out always. Leslie, you should be grateful to Miss Abby because now Peyton has more time to work on her solo. I want to see what size this is. Try this bottom one. Come on, put this on. Those aren't going to fit, Chloe. They're hard, those shorts. All right, girls, turn around and face front. So Abby's everyone now, except for Peyton. And the group dance, got the work outfit with costumes. Fifth position, I'm watching you. All right, we're good. We're all good. Listen, sometimes people don't play fair. And that's why I'm tough on you, and that's why I train you. 12 victories in a row, or you get beat. It's a long ride home when you don't have the trophy on your bus. But wait, I don't even know why she's going to do her hair, because the costume that you gave her doesn't fit her. It's a medium adult. Well, we have bigger ones, honey. Why didn't you say something? You didn't give her the time. You took all your time out on Kalani. If Abby really cared, she would worry about what Peyton looks like on stage in her costumes, like she does with Maddie and now Kalani. You just need a, a large adult. So you obviously can't wear this. So you don't want to dance? That's fine. No, no. Find her a costume. Find her something to wear. We want to dance. In that particular brand, you need a large adult. She's a hard to fit upper body. You would have known this if you would have done your work in the studio. Okay. Where's her custom costume like everybody else gets in this room? Has she ever had a beautiful custom costume when she traveled with you? No, because I don't care anymore. Why? It's not worth the aggravation. For you to talk to me this way? Me? You bring it upon yourself by treating us this way, by bringing Kalani in. She's not your student. She's gonna use your name and leave. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like that. Do not I'm, tell me okay. what I am doing. You will use her name and you will leave. Listen, you lady, deal pictures. with your eyes problem. I don't have to tell I you what you're gonna do, baby. Me. We all know it. Really? They all know it? Yeah, They're I all know fine it. with me being here. When it gets interferes with how my daughter should be treated, then guess what? I have a problem with that. You choose to treat my That is a classic example of what we don't want to sound like. This is just terrific. We're about to go out for Nick's solo, and Abby's dressing room sounds like a rowdy bar fight. ALDC is falling apart at the seams. Nick's got this in the bag. You give, you give, you give, you give, you give, and you get nothing in return. You're an embarrassment to this team. Acknowledging my daughter. She should have called me Abby, you last are night. Perfect, aren't you? What did you just say? You're perfect, aren't you? Leslie, didn't Abby just say two days before that if a mom uses that F word, she's kicking them out? People that represent the Abby Lee Dance Company can't use the F word. So you're done. You're not going to let Peyton do her solo today. No. Get out. Don't ask me back ever. Because of Leslie's despicable behavior, Peyton is not performing that solo. Uh, next is act number 109. Please welcome to the stage Maddie, Chloe, Nia, Kendall, Mackenzie, and Kalani.
I think the girls can't hear the music. The crowd is screaming, and I don't think that they can hear the beginning of their song. They couldn't hear the music. They didn't hear it. Okay, it's, I feel like we're being set up this whole day. It's fine. Don't say that. You shouldn't really wear a dance studio jacket when other people are here paying. I have paying customers here. You can do it over if you like. No, 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 no. We got off on a terribly rocky start. The girls couldn't hear the music. I don't know if this is going to be good enough to beat the candy apples. I never wrestled like you guys, this. Just like Stop. Stop. Don't don't cry. Cry. You're crying. You're crying. You guys, we were good. We can't. Yeah, we have to act. We were too worried. We have to act. Yeah. And we are perfect. We are perfect, guys. Second overall. Goes to act 108, The Last Dance. And our first overall. We did it again. The Abby Lee Dance Company beat you at your own game in your own town. You even tried to bribe the judges. It doesn't matter what you do, when, how, why, the Abby Lee Dance Company is going to beat you.